Hi everyone, Cy from Black and Gold Audio here and this is how I made Grandma's Toothbrush, a new contact instrument from ourselves. <laughs> Yeah, first up we're doing the recording. Once recorded, we're into editing. And here I'm slicing up, uh, cutting up a section of the uh, recording. Um, it's a good, good piece after identifying. I'm also going to uh, record some of the background noise uh, room tone wise uh, because there is a little bit of noise on the uh, original file and I'm going to kind of remove that. So we're going to render them all out, both the room tone noise and also the actual sample of the toothbrush. And now the sample. Okay, we're gonna open RX and do a little bit of noise reduction. So we're going to drag the samples into RX and you can see here uh, the room tone and the toothbrush itself. So I've got the two files in here. We're going to open up the Spectral Denoise plugin and we are going to uh, learn the noise profile of the room tone. And then over to the toothbrush and apply that uh, to the toothbrush, which you can hear. That's already much cleaner. So uh, let's render that out as a final file. Back into Logic, uh, the denoised file. So let's check out some tuning and see what uh, pitch this is. It's close to C, it's wavering a little bit, so I'm going to pitch center this using flex pitch in Logic. Scroll down to where the note is, because it is a lower, I think it's a C3. Yeah, it is. There we go, it's pitched correct, that whole note. That's much better. There's a lot of oscillation in this file, but I want to kind of keep that. There's also a little bit of low end rumble in this. I want to try and get this out of there now. We're not going to lose too much on that by doing that. Let's render this out again. Ready for import into contact. So I've imported the file into contact. Mapped it across the whole key range, or virtually most of the key range. So it's a pitchable instrument. I've also done a little bit of looping here, so I've kind of matched uh, the start and end points of the loop file, as you can see, as best possible. This is how you do it in contact. You start a sample loop, which is the number one on there. Uh, yeah, and then we kind of we can drag the, the file. We're using the loop edit. So it kind of loops around lovely as a whole note that continues to play. I 
Uh, I've also done uh, some fades on the front of the file, fade in, and I've also done a fade out. Uh, so only just a couple of milliseconds so that it's not too uh, harsh on the attack and end of the file. Okay, getting into grandmother then. So out of my patch bay, uh, I'm taking coming out of my Apollo X8 um, into the um, uh, grandmother input via the patch bay. And now we're into the grandmother. To do this, we need the drone function. And we can hear the sample coming through. So without drone on, we wouldn't hear anything. We wouldn't have any audio input coming in. So drone's really important. And now we can manipulate using grandmother. It's like a guitar pedal, basically. So we can shape the sound even more. Yeah, and we can uh, obviously do a little bit of LFO, add a bit of LFO there to the envelope or the filter. I'm going to have a little bit of play with this and see what, what, what comes out. Okay, all done. I've got a sound. Um, I've also now recorded every single key back into Logic, uh, note named them all, and I'm now going to export these uh, ready for import into Contact. You can see that they're all tuned here, the exact note names. So this is just the first velocity layer. I'm going to do another velocity. I have recorded another softer velocity layer as well. And here we are. This is in contact now. This is the final instrument. I've kind of skipped ahead a little bit here. Um, but this is what she looks like. And this is the dry sample from the grandmother. Without any effects added yet at all. So yeah, I went about and, and built... Um, built the uh, image uh, made the image uh, and i've obviously used the script editor here to put all the the, the knobs and controls in um done a load of scripting so that the controls attach to the the correct effects you can see here two velocity layers in the mapping editor well, there's the effects actually first the compressor and the EQ are not actually um, usable on the front of the interface. They're just there to control the sound. Uh, I've made a setting with that. Uh, we've got the um, attack and release controls at the bottom as well. Yeah, here's the, the two uh, layers. So we've got the louder velocity and the choir velocity layers. And here we've got um, the uh, velocity control between those two layers, so we don't get too much of a jump between them. Difficult to always work out of that one. Um, I've done the best I can. Uh, yeah. So also, yeah, I've every single uh, note is it has a loop. It's a loop function, so you can play it continuously. Again, like I, I did earlier in the original file. And now for the controls. So attack and release functions, short. Bit of delay. Some reverb. Some chorus going on here. Let's turn up the release. A little bit of attack. It's much smoother. It's a phaser as well if you want to use it. Lovely. And of course we've got a low pass filter and a high pass filter so we can shape our sound even further. And that's it. 
So there you have it, Grandma's Toothbrush. Hope you like this new contact instrument for myself. If you're liking the content on this channel and you're liking the instruments, please like and subscribe. Your support would be highly appreciated. Until the next time, everyone, be safe, take care. See you soon.